Help me, Lord, to know I'm feeling down. Help me, Lord, please get my feet up on the ground. Well, that's just me singing just a little bit. It's what I used to do. And I heard this rhythm of my um, my printing machine going, because I'm printing out every email I sent to this attorney. See, with fibromyalgia sometimes, well, fluorescent lights are really tough on you. So you go into a store, like any store, like Publix, and you want to buy some bread. By the time you get down to the deli counter, you're looking around the store like, what the hell am I in here, and what do I need? And then the pain sets in. Then the sugar drops, and then you get a panic attack. Well, basically, I stopped going to stores a lot for the last three years, or calling friends, or talking to people, or talking on the phone. But um, I had my dog with me in the car, and I did register as a, as a uh, service dog. She had to go to the vet, and I had to drive. And it was my partner's birthday, and I hadn't gotten her a real card or a gift for a while. You know, I didn't only make them on the computer since I'm home. So I stopped at Macy's for their 70% off sale. Okay? And I know I shouldn't have done it, but for 10 minutes, I thought, leave my dogs in the car, take two keys, 10 minutes, walk in, go to the cell rack, peruse them, and move through. That's what I was trying to do. So I picked up a couple of items, some pants, the, you know, nice black pants. So come on, girls, you know, when you're big bottom girls like we are, sometimes it's hard to find black pants, so I had those in my hand. Moved on to the men's section because, you know, they make men's clothes better than women's. What's up with that? If I ever get better, I'm going to work on it. So I tried on a T-shirt right in front of the clerk, right? Looking in the mirror. Didn't like it. And then the low sugar hit. It just hit. Well, I still didn't find a gift for my girl. So walked to the jewelry counter. Lights were brighter there. Couldn't handle. So I walked over into the women's section. I found some shorts. I got some white shorts. I took my things to the clerk, and I paid for them. It was $180 worth of stuff. I forgot I had a T-shirt on. So anyway, I could stop at the door. I tried to tell the security man I wasn't trying to steal anything. I showed him my receipts, told him my dogs when the car was a told him I was disabled. They didn't care. They called the cops. And um, an officer came, and he told me he didn't believe I was disabled. I'm sure they don't even know what fibromyalgia is in the Broward Police Department. And this Sato guy got even more pissed off when I didn't have anything on my record in Broward, and uh, he says to me, well, when I look at your record, what am I going to find? And by that time, I was ready, you know, when you have really bad fibromyalgia and that brain fog hits and you're sweating and you just want to get to someplace safe because you're having a panic attack and your dogs are in the car. And I was going, please, please, please. And I just started crying and they helped me and they helped me. And I just had my neck worked on. And you know what? That's all these papers printed out here. I ended up hiring an attorney, and it was just a ticket. They didn't take me to jail, even though the cop put on handcuffs, roughed me up, left me in the back parking lot um, with fibromyalgia. I was also diagnosed with dementia. <laughs> it's called fibro fog, and I couldn't find my way to my car for another little while. And, of course, I was in bed three, four days after that with the stress, the brutality, and the bullshit of it all. And I wrote to the sheriff. They didn't care. Obtained an attorney. Steve Ross is running for mayor in Broward. I don't know if he won or not. Thank God, though, Obama won. But anyway, um, it was just amazing. This guy I called, big guy, on his uh, on his site, I, I saw his site. What's the site? MySpace. We go to. He's got his attorney space down. The only guys on are a few gay guys, but he says he's straight, of course. And he's got like dollar bills as his, you know, backspace paper. I should have looked at all this shit before I gave him 500 bucks. But anyway, it's all on my blog, Logic from a High School Dropout. Logic Dropout at blogspot.com. But you know, if you look at my site, you'll know that. Well, anyway, it's 4.30 in the morning, and I think I need to report this guy to the bar because he drops my case when we go to court because he signs me up for a 30-day, um, you know, thing where you work it off with public service. 
which I would have no problem with if I could work, but I'm disabled, which he was well aware of, and he even took down my medical release, and I sent him all my medical papers. But he didn't even look at the ticket, and usually the ticket, they just let you off, especially if you have no priors. So now I've got, look, look, right here, I'm going to spend it over, oh, all these papers, I don't know if you can see them, all these papers are on my bed, all these papers, and that's what I'm doing. I'm taking out 56, 80 papers at 4 o'clock in the morning because that's when my brain works. Tomorrow I'll probably sit in like a zombie in my bed. Hopefully I'll be able to send them out at some point. But, you know, that's what happens when people don't feel well. It's very difficult to get your work done. And I, I'm sorry, I posted a video before and the, the sound wasn't quite on because my XP computer blew up. And um, I'm trying to work this the... I don't guess I have to say more to any of you guys that try to work Vista and video. But, uh, so I'm sitting here and I'm hearing all these uh, 56 pages. By the way, he only sent me five emails back, this attorney. The rest were me. So I'm thinking, help me, Lord, you know I'm feeling down. Help me, Lord, please get my feet on the ground. And actually, this time, I feel like I may, there's some hope in sight. We have a new president. Somebody that I might actually not cringe every time I see him, you know, on the news. And someone that we can all look up to. He's a young man, got a great education, and I believe he really cares about what's going on. And maybe he'll care enough to look into fibromyalgia and get some funding on it so, you know, the rest of us don't have to suffer. Because I don't know if you've read my stuff before, but I've been with friends of mine that had cancer, breast cancer. They went through chemotherapy. And they went through hell. But they're back up on their feet and they're back at work. And they're doing great. And after five years, I'm still here in this house. Generally sweating or having stomach problems or feeling like general hell. Getting a few minutes like this when I feel I can talk to somebody. Uh, don't have any friends anymore because it's so difficult to call people back when you feel like shit, especially after you had the stroke, after the, um, what's it called, hysterectomy you didn't need because the doctors don't know what fibromyalgia are. Well, I'm getting up there in time and it's 4.30. Hopefully this one has sound. And thank you so much for the comments I've been getting, fibromyalgia people. Uh, please show these to your family. Maybe they'll believe because mine haven't. Okay, I haven't talked to my mother in a real conversation in years. She didn't believe I was ill. But, you know, this fibromyalgia runs in the family. And if you get Dr. St. Amand's book, you'll find out. I was, like, reading my life story in Dr. St. Amand's book, uh, what, they don't tell, what your doctors don't tell you about fibromyalgia. And, you know, at least after reading that book, I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not crazy. I realize I've had this my whole life and I realize it runs in my family. They don't have the same pain problems I do, but they have horrible problems with their brain remembering things. They get upset like I do, and maybe that's one reason we can't communicate. But I don't think my family will listen or care about this, but maybe yours will. Well, I'm signing off to you. This is Michelle from Fibro Hell uh, and Logic from a high school dropout. And thank God, America, you got Obama in. I mean, the world's already thanking us and looking at us in a new light. And remember, this is one world. Thanks. Bye.